All right, here we go. So, step number four in the infielding drills. We call this the goalie drill. You can call it the hockey drill. You can call it whatever you want. This is incorporating everything we just learned. We put our player between the cones. We have them start in the middle. They're going to take the cue purely from the ground ball. So we've, they've learned side shuffling. They've learned their glove placement. They've learned how to position themselves. They've learned how to address the ball. Now, you just, you don't tell them what's going to happen. You just throw them the grounders. You let them get cued from there. And then when you set up this drill, we don't have foul lines in here, um, which in practice I think is okay. And it's a cardinal sin in a game to step on the foul line. But you can use a foul line or draw a line that uh, lines up between the two cones. Um, so that way they can start on it. And if they field the ball back behind the line, it doesn't count. That's, you know, they, they, they screwed that up. So they want to be on the line. So that way they're fielding it out in front versus being back behind right, it. Right, so. hence the goalie drill part. If it crosses the line, it scored a goal. So it's gonna, it would look something like this. Just like that. And you can turn this into a game. You can have teams, you can, you can count how many goals get scored. Team A had three goal, goals scored against them, you know, team two, or team B had two goals scored, however you want to yeah. do it. And it's a lot of this stuff too, as much as it's important to get the physical skills down, the psychology of it all, the team dynamics aspect of it too. So if you put a team together, maybe round one, they do best of three on one team. And then the next time around, they merge, they change the teams up. Right. So you're creating this inner squad competition, but not pitting people against each other by mixing the teams up too. You will find uh, as you work with your team, if you're new to coaching, there are some kids, if they're put together, there's certain dynamics that occur. You're going to learn how to separate some of those players to get them more focused on what they're doing. Because if they're with some of their, their friends, Knuckleheads. It, it, it turns into kind of a silly, they won't pay attention, they won't take it seriously. Not that we want them serious, we want, we want them to have fun, but you also want them focused. So you will learn the dynamics and also it's okay to understand, oh, uh, Joey and Paul should not be in line together. They should be on different teams. Yeah, especially <laughs> if they're young. As they yeah. get older, you know, uh, hopefully that improves. But, um, yeah. but yeah, that's all I got. Absolutely.